Drop it. Thank you, Abraham. I've been listening to your tapes for about four years. This is the first time I've ever come to see you. I just want to say, I watched one Charlie Rose show in the last 10 years, and it was the one with fish. Everything you've been saying, I came here with lists of questions. And I've had these questions for two years. They're gone now. But there will be more. Oh, well, I just want to share one incredible thing that happened. When I first heard the Abraham material, I just felt like, oh, this is the truth I've been waiting for. I love this. So I needed $30,000. So I, I said to the universe, I want $30,000. And I said, and I want it to come in a way that doesn't hurt anybody. I don't want someone to die. And I said, you'll get over that in time. Well, at the time I have actually, that was a requirement. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm saying it was my requirement. And I said, and I want it to come in a way that it comes, that it makes me laugh. And I want it to come in a way that is so ridiculous that I will always know that law of attraction is powerful and works. Well, so you were not only satisfying the desire for the 30,000, but you were satisfying the desire to discover that law of attraction worked and that you had the power to apply it. I felt really clear that it was yes. going to work. Yes. So I, I yeah, I, I guess I was also. So, um, I started to do what you said and pretty soon it was like I had moved into a reality in which I was going to get $30,000. Well, I get so excited. I drive down the street and I think, I wonder if there's an armored car. Maybe it's going to toss like $30,000 out at me. And then I be walking around. And I think, Maybe there's a diamond ring somewhere. I got to the point where I didn't have a doubt that I was going to have $30,000. And you were beating the drum of expectation. You were bringing yourself little by little into more and more plausible expectation. Yeah. And it was so much yes. fun. Yes. And finally, um, I want to add one more thing. Let me think. Um, oh, I went out shopping one day. And I was buying all these dresses and suddenly I had this little thought, you don't have any money. And then I thought, well, that doesn't matter because I'm getting $30,000. And you know the end of the story, <laughs> but um, a dear, dear friend of mine, somebody I love, said that they were going to come up and see me. And I hadn't seen this person in maybe 10 years, something like that. And I, you know, I was just happy to see my friend. And this friend, as far as I knew, was not wealthy. And the friend came up and we go way back. And the friend came up and said, well, I just won the lottery. <laughs> and I said, kid, do I get my $30,000? And my friend said, yes. And uh, I got my $30,000. And see, here's the thing. We would go out to breakfast afterwards, and I'd say to my friend, you just won the lottery. And we'd laugh. We'd sit there. We'd fall over laughing. We, we were like holding our stomachs. We were laughing. And that was my condition. It had to make me laugh. And I was there laughing and saying, this is my condition. And so now are you understanding that you can open the vortex in a very wide way. In other words, are you at the place now where, because you're no longer trying to prove that it works, that you can just say to the universe, universe, I would like this please and bring it to me anytime in any comfortable way that you see fit. When a lot of things that you've been wanting converge, you feel an impulse that wild horses can't keep you from. But meanwhile, you just got to keep yourself vibrationally happy so that you have some reasonable access to keep adding to the pot. It's like, here you are, this collector of data, and you like that, and you like that, and you don't like that, which makes you know you like that, and you like that, and you like that, and you don't like that, which makes you know that you like that. So you're adding in terms of preferences little by little by little by little but we don't mean to make it sound little it's a lot you are adding 
hugely to the database of your future experience all of you are doing that this workshop is about one thing only you finding a way to become a vibrational match to what you've launched out there that is yours to be had if you just relax and start trusting that well-being supposed to come to you you see so we go through all kinds of antics we come up with endless processes we try to convince you in endless ways that you are deserving of good things but it's not good things that somebody else has assigned to you it's not things that were predetermined even before you got here it's good things that you have set into motion from the data that you've been collecting along this physical trail so when you've gathered boxes of data of things that you found interesting and good feeling when you gathered them your future experience is so full of so many possibilities and here's the thing that we wanted to say to you earlier but you couldn't have heard but now you can the universe knows the perfect timing of all of those things and will find through the crack of least resistance the best way to deliver it to you and you know what that thirty thousand dollars was on its way to you one way or another uh -huh. and it didn't have to be only one thirty thousand there are thirty thousand 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 lined up over and 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 over again in other words it can continue to flow into your experience mm -hmm. sometimes people worry that they got to the dock and they missed their boat and we say there is always another one there are always in your immediate vicinity not fewer than 20 very real probabilities of not fewer than 20 very real <laughs> probabilities of opening to give you what you want but you've got to get in vibrational proximity of it and so somebody like you who is willing to continue to dream even while manifestations that you formerly dreamed for have not come to fruition you've got the magic formula as you keep dreaming as you keep wanting as you keep adding stuff to the pile and more importantly as you keep using your dreams as your reason to feel good in the now good stuff just avalanches into your experience until people all around you are saying who anointed you king how is it that these good things happen to you and you say I'm deserving of them uh -huh. I've brought myself into vibrational alignment with them and they show themselves to me in every possible way every corner I turn there's something else that surprises and delights me that's the way it's supposed to be yeah, but those of you who have decided that you have to earn it you're in a whole different vibrational place those of you who are angry at other people who are receiving good fortune you're in a whole different vibrational place in other words you're wanting to move into the vibration of expecting good things to come to you and that's why this emotional journey that we've been selling with everything that we've got here today is so important yes Thank you. yes indeed